DaVinci Resolve has had so much growth this year. Tons of new effects just came out and it made the editing experience so much more fun. Using these new effects, I went viral on TikTok and I'll be sharing all the knowledge so y'all can go viral as well. Like actual good knowledge, stuff that other YouTubers aren't talking about. So make sure you download the project file in the description, lock in, and let's get into it. Listen up niggas, only 79% of you are subscribed to the channel. If you want to be the goat like me. Oh my God, he's such a goat. Sub up. All right, back to you, Cloud. Okay, so you might be wondering, Clout, how do I get these project files? So once you get the file onto your computer, right click and either extract it with RINRAR or whatever, just extract the file, give that a second, open it up, and then you'll have the project file. What you wanna do is double click on the DaVinci Resolve project file and give that a second to load up. DaVinci Resolve will import the project automatically and then you'll be met with this. Now, most people might not have uh, their media loaded in, so just in case nothing is loaded, open up the media pool, right click in the empty space, relink clips for bin, and then make sure you select the project file here, select folder. And if one clip can't be found, just press search and it will find all of it. So I want you guys to notice how I structure all of my projects. The bottom layer are only fusion compositions, maybe a couple lingering fusion compositions on top. And then on top of the adjustment clip and the adjustment clip would have the color correction on it. And I do everything inside of the fusion page. So I don't even touch the color page once. And I only use it for like specific use case scenarios like this very where I have to color grade IRL footage. But um, for everything anime, I just use the fusion page and I structure every single fusion comp like this. Like even if it's just time remap, I still get that background node in there and I merge the footage. And if you're trying to make edits and get into this stuff, I highly recommend copying the same method because it will get you in a nice rhythm for structuring edits and figuring out the nodes in DaVinci Resolve. See, now this is a bit more complicated but it starts off the same. You have the clip merged onto the background, and then you have this PNG of hands, which I had to expand the version of in color. So it was kind of Tsunade's hands, um, animate it going up. And that should put you on the right track. You'll notice a lot of nodes in here that you probably have never seen before. And if you want to have like an exact preset of how I use the node, all you have to do, let's say I wanted this shake, for example, right click the node, go all the way down to settings, save as, and then go to your macros folder. If you don't know where your macros folder is, you can find it by like right clicking, going to edit macro, clicking literally anything, and then going to the top right corner and pressing open, and that will open up the folder that you need. So what I do from there, name it whatever you want. So clout shake reset. So now when I want to use it, whenever I want, all I have to do is search up with shift and space and type in clout shake preset. And there it is, the exact same graph, same values, same everything. Now, some of these comps may be a bit messy. That's because I made this all in one sitting during a live stream and I was rushing, unfortunately. So just try your best to go through all the nodes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my, yo, 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 it's never this bad, bro. I was rushing. I was really rushing. Oh, for real, that's just the tip of the iceberg because this is what you cobbles comps be looking like, okay? Trust me, if you think that's unorganized, yo, this is unorganized, bro. Yo, how do you get a dick in the middle of your damn comp? So you'll be met with not one, but three project files in one if you get the twerk jug. So a lot of you guys have been asking how to do jug on DaVinci Resolve, and trust me, I am working on the video, but this right here will give you a head start on how I organize my projects, how to do flow, how to do some basic compositing and transitions. And if you come to the top right here, you can pick between not one, but three different timelines. So you can just open up the comps, either copy what I do, or just take a look at it. This first edit right here. Like if I wanted to go in and go like, hmm, how did I do that explosion? All I would have to do, click on the comp twerk explosion, right click, open in fusion page, and your viewer might look like this. It might be this vertical layout. I prefer my fusion to look like this. So don't freak out. It's completely normal. What you'll be met with is a completely vertical timeline. How I organize it is it starts off with a black background. Then I merge the original clip on. And then everything after that will be compositing on that clip. And then after the compositing, I have this little space right here. After the compositing will be all the basics. And by basics, that means like the zooming in, brightness and contrast, shakes, blurs, basic editing stuff. So if you really want to get in and go into the nitty gritty, you can click on every single node. And if you press either one or two, it will show up in your viewer. Now for some nodes, 
like the magic mask, you may need to go back to the reference time and re-render it. So this might be a little bit annoying for some, but I mean, that's just how it is. The cache doesn't come over. So you're going to have to like re-render it. So if you just press this back and forth arrow right here and then give it a second, depending on how fast your computer is, it will render out the whole thing and it should be a perfect mask. And now that it rendered perfectly, the light wrap on the explosion looks fantastic. All right, so that's a quick vid on project files. I've been super busy with getting a degree in film, but the videos won't stop anytime soon. Just no daily stuff. I may live stream from time to time on TikTok, so hit me there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out.